Hello, this is Abbott. Time for clocks. Welcome. Finally, another episode. I got a clock in the mail yesterday. Well, UPS. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and see how it is because generally a narrow box like this, not good. It should be square. So I'm expecting the worst. There is a little moving around in there, but to be truthful, when I receive a clock in the in the post, I'm prepared for the worst for all of them, actually. <laughs> all right. So this is just going to, let's see what's in here. Might be a surprise. Might be something interesting. Might be something dull and not interesting. So uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> Alrighty, now when you open your clock at home, uh, generally a utility knife is quite useful with a sharp blade. You might not want to open it the way I do. I'm, I've done this quite a bit, so I use my thumb and I only insert the blade far enough to cut the cardboard, not to go to penetrate inside. And then, <clears throat> once you do that, that's just how I do it. There's many ways to do it. But you get all this stuff out of the way. Okay, this is good. Some pillow bubble things. Alright, and then the clock's not even wrapped at all. It's just, okay, well, some people don't know. But generally, I hate styrofoam. No bubble wrap around it. I mean, <clears throat> the glass is not broken. I hate all of this. Uh, I'll vacuum that up. All these little styrofoam beads. Horrible. So, let me get rid of all that packing and then we'll look at the clock. But generally, I'm actually surprised this clock made it. But when you have the styrofoam in here and the clock is has nothing around it to protect it, all the while it's being moved, jostled about in the shipping is gonna be rubbing against this. You don't you don't want that's horrible. Anyhow. Alright, let me get rid of all this styrofoam stuff. Okay, this is actually a heavy clock, pretty heavy. Inside the back, mm. the, uh, the chime stand, loose and wobbly. That's not a big deal. But he did put the pendulum and the keys in a separate pouch and put it inside here, which is fine. Some people will just throw them in loose and they'll bounce all around in the shipping, which is not good. So, anyhow, this clock. 
It says made in England. And I'm not really familiar with in-depth history of this clock. Only that they were well made. And what kind of clock is it? Fatorini and Sons. I would say this clock is probably from the 30s, 1930s. And the door is quite robust. It's actually thick on a nice hinge. Real quiet when it opens. Apparently Federini and Sons clocks were pretty good quality. And if the little, the limit, I mean, the, there is some damage here you see on the case, which is why scratches and such which is why that people sell them at reduced price. Looks like chrome feet. I don't know if that, that could be Art Deco design. Because Art Deco design was, uh, they had this stepped look to Im imitate the Empire State Building which was built. Which was the model for modernism back in the 20s. Or was it, when was it, when was it built? 1930? I don't recall. I think it was 1930. It took a year and two months to build it, but it was pretty impressive. So, if I remember right, Fatterini and Sons imported clocks, made minor modifications to them, which enabled them to say, made in England, when actually... Uh, now, I might be wrong on this, but in actual actuality, most of the clock was made elsewhere. I'm not positive. This actually looks like English oak. Smith's clocks have the same English oak. So maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe, maybe they were. I don't know. If somebody knows about Fatterini and Sons, they can uh, shed some light. But anyhow, quite surprised that the glass was not broken so yeah heavy this is a eight day time and strike <clears throat> it doesn't play any chimes or anything like that it just strikes the hour the um, the biggest damage is right here on the case, you can see that. Pretty sure it was dropped. Goes all the way across. But right back here, it's pretty severe. So that's just a little nice little project. Looked like a nice clock. Came from Missouri. And Let's see here. Mm. Yep, back on the floor again. <laughs> Ran out of room, so I'm on the floor again. Working on that too. But generally, my statement holds true that ladies pack and ship clocks better than men. Am I being sexist? It just seems... It just seems... They use a little more care when they pack their clocks, so step it up, guys, okay? Step it up. <clears throat> Many of you are probably aware that my shop is dirty, or I should say, not dirty, messy, and definitely needs good clean. I have been going here and there, cleaning, getting organizing drawers and so forth I'm almost to the point where after this uh, clock project I'm working on and the next one after that a lot of these projects that I have laying around here are gonna come together so hopefully the videos will be coming out 
showing what I think are some interesting clocks. I, I, I mean, there's always something interesting in clocks to me because I'm always, always something to learn. And they're uh, therapeutic. I come out and I work in the clock and I feel 100% better most of the time. All right, well, that's just a little update. I hope everyone is well, doing okay. And we'll see you next time. All right, bye for now.